Hello and welcome to Keyway Design. In this video, we're going to discuss how to design a keyed shaft, the keyed hub, and then of course the key itself. These are great for uh, applications such as having rotational motion in a piece. You usually need to have a keyway to connect two pieces together. Um, they can be used for puzzle boxes to rotate stuff, uh, and as well it can be used for toys or anything else that you can think of. So let's start off by designing the key, it's, or the shaft itself, and then going from there. So we're gonna make a one inch diameter shaft for this design, and we're gonna make it six inches long. Next, we're going to design the keyed portion itself. So for this example, we're gonna make it a quarter up by quarter. It's a squ square key. In the next video, we'll talk about different keyway options. And I usually, when I put this together, I typically make it size on size. Uh, however, you can make it a little bit bigger if you want. I wouldn't go anything bigger than 10 thou, just because uh, you don't want it to be too sloppy and then have issues with it not fitting properly or the key falling out. Next, we're gonna actually dimension this portion and I got this from a chart that I have and it's gonna be 0.859. And you can see the key sits out a little bit from the portion, the portion. So it'll sit on the shaft and then the hub itself. So let's do an extrude cut and see how that goes. We're gonna make it one inch length both ways, cutting through the material. Now you have two options when you have a key like this, keyway shaft. We're gonna keep it plain, not doing any rounded edges, but in the options you could also make this rounded and that's mostly cosmetic, but again, it's up to you. So now that we've made the shaft, let's take a look at designing the hub. So here we are designing the hub. So we're gonna start off by, again, starting a new sketch. Now for the circle that we're gonna make for this portion, it's gonna be 1.01, .01, so it's 10 thou bigger than the one inch shaft. And then I'm just gonna make a two and a quarter inch outside portion of the hub. This is just an arbitrary number. You can play with things as you're going. It depends on what you're trying to do. And we're gonna make this three inches in length. And we're gonna do something a little different with this, but it'll be the same idea for design wise. So again, we're going to put in a quarter by quarter inch key we're going to center that about the shaft and then again you're going to dimension this and according to the chart I need to do 1.114 so now when we extrude this um, portion backwards we're going to extrude cut I'm going to do 1.5 inch cut inside so it's only going to go halfway in so the great thing with keyways is it could be a stopping point for your portion if you want it to sit in only so far so now that we've made the hub, let's quickly make the key and then put it all together. So here we are designing the key itself. It'll be very, very simple. I typically like to make it a little bit shorter than the design of it that you have. So we made it a one inch keyway. So for this, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller by about, let's say, Let's say 30th hour, 32nd. So the reason why we make it a little bit shorter is so that it can fit into that keyway. Um, you can make it size on size, but if you want, this will allow you to get it out a little bit easier. So that's a big thing that we want to know, keep note of. So now that we have the key designed, let's put everything together to see how this would actually fit. So here you can see the three components are now in an assembly, and this is the, again a great time to check that all the things fit together. This is why I always assemble my parts that are going to fit just before I print them. So we're going to just do a quick assembly of all the parts. It's size on size, so we know that those two pieces will fit. We're then going to constrain the edge and state it to be 0.015. You're then going to constrain the shaft to the hub. And then next what we're going to do is just move this out a little bit so that we can do an angle constraint and you can take a quick look to see that that fits you can see that there's no interferences some of your softwares will actually be able to analyze if there's any interference fits and then the last thing we can do is we're going to constrain the end of the key to the stopping portion in the hub 
So now that we have that all put together, you can take a look and see that there's nothing interfering. And lastly, if you don't have a software that that will allow you to essentially see it, and see any interferences, what you can do is see if you can do a half section view and then click a face. So for instance, the face of the key, and you can actually see that it'll allow you to take a look at all the, the spacing. So you have a gap here. This is gonna fit size on size for the key itself, and the shaft's not gonna interfere with the hub. So that is essentially how I would design a keyed shaft. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, this is Tyler with 3D Printersort, and I hope you have a great day.